The national alcoholic beverage here in Turkey is called Raka, and it's a very different drink. If you like to try alcoholic drinks that are different in uh, other countries, when you come here to Turkey, be sure to try it out. You'll probably see people in places like a fish restaurant uh, with this white, um, kind of slender, clear glass, white beverage, and that's the Raka when water or ice is added to it. It becomes kind of a milky white. And actually in Turkish, they call it Aslan Sütlü, which means lion's milk. I think it's much better for me to have my Turkish friends explain Raka, the things they like about it and the foods they like to eat with it. This is my friend, John. Uh, we're in Istanbul and John is a fellow lover of Raka. We're gonna do a little short <coughs> taste testing here. We've got everything that you need to have uh, for Raka. Am, am I correct? Yeah, we do. We got the, the, we, got the we got the ice. We're actually going to film this yesterday, but we didn't have the proper uh, Raka glasses. So just like you have to drink chai after, out of a proper chai glass, you have to drink Raka out of these glasses, yeah? Yeah, you need to have a way to drink these glasses. Okay. Otherwise, it's not that tasty. Okay. <laughs> it's a different test. Then, of course, you've got some water. The way you drink Raka, it, it, I think it varies a little bit. I've had some Turkish friends, they actually just pour, uh, pour a little bit in the cup, and um, they don't add anything to it. And then uh, I've got some friends that add the water to it, as well as the ice. So, what's your preference? Both uh, water and ice, because yeah, yeah. I need to drink it uh, as much as it's cold. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not that tasty. I mean, when the alcohol is hot, uh, you get that taste, yeah. and it's sometimes uh, some people don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And we're gonna do a little taste sample. Uh, we're gonna go with John's favorite brand. We're gonna go with my favorite brand, uh, and taste a, a couple others. We'll start with my favorite. I'm gonna move these out of the camera, and I'm gonna let John prepare it. Uh, prepare his glass like he he would like. I'll just add a uh, quarter of the glass. Is that about a, or a you, bit more? Is that mm -hmm. a double? Yeah. Would you call okay? So if yeah, you're at a restaurant and you want it strong, uh, ask for a double, double rocket, right? Yeah. Okay. That's the double. That's a double right there. So about uh, what about uh, adding the water uh, as much as. Uh, I yeah. can put some more ice on it. Okay, so you add a, enough where you can still add mm -hmm. just a little bit of ice. In some alcohols, uh, you just shake it, but in Raka, you don't shake anything. You just yeah. add it on. Yeah, that's one of the things I add like the about ice. it. Yeah. Now, do you just drink one uh, one ice cube? Yeah, I do. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's smooth. It's smooth, it's isn't smooth. it? It's not that tough. No, because mm. it's got to be smooth. It can't be too pungent or strong for me. The Baylor Bay Gubek, it's a black label. Mm -hmm. um, they've got different labels. So John and I both agree it's a real smooth Raka if, if you like it smooth. Something that's very familiar to a <laughs> lot of people is the, is the Yeni Raka. Yeni Raka. So would you say that at most restaurants, unless you ask, yes. they're going to go yeah. with this right here? Yeah, when, okay. when you enter the groceries, when you ask about the Raka, they just get it to you. If you don't say any uh, brands, they just get you in Yeni Raka. Yeni Raka, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'll, I'll give it a try. You, you tell me when. You're serving me. <laughs> yeah, I'm serving you. Here we go. Some water. Okay. Yes. There's enough. Get it's generally according to the, uh, the shape of the glass. Some glasses are bigger and more bold, mm -hmm. so you can add some more ice. Okay. But if you add uh, two or three ice in this, you cannot just drink it. Yeah. The ice will come in your mouth. Yeah. Okay. That's All the right. thing. So, Yeni Raka. Uh huh. Let's go with it. Yeah, that's a bit more strong. A little stronger. Than Baylor Bay. Yeah. Than Baylor Bay Quebec. When you drink Raka, yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's a, and if it's a strong one, yep. you eat something with it. Yeah, yeah. Like okay. meat, fish, or uh, some yeah. salads uh, made of yogurt, like yep. we call meze. Meze's appetizers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good point. So uh, there's definitely certain foods that people like to drink Raka with, right? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I love eating meze's, the appetizers that 
John was talking about. They go so well with Raqqa. And uh, when I lived here for years and I'd have neighbors over to Mongol to barbecue, that's almost a must, you know. That, you, that doubles the taste. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doubles the taste. So we're just straight here without any food to soften it. But that one was a little bit stronger. Yeah, that's why I could not uh, drink it yeah. as much as Bay Dai Bay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and that one's going to be cheaper though, right? I mean, Uni, Uni yes. Rocka is typically a cheaper... Yeah, it is cheaper. ...cheaper Rocka. This is one I've never tried myself. Have what you, is it? Uh, it is called Saki Rocka. Saki, uh-huh. Means something. Saki, Saki. means uh, the guy who serves for the record. Ah, oh, so more like a, a like a professional one, huh? Yeah. Okay. And more fancy. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll go ahead and give it a pour for you. Did you try this one before? I have not tried this one before. Okay, you try this. Okay, I'll try it. And Sherfe uh, <laughs> is a, a frequent uh, toast. Yeah. Yeah, like cheers, yeah. sante. It doesn't taste too harsh to me. It tastes pretty mm. smooth. Yeah. Would but you not as much as Bailey. Not, not as smooth as the uh, Gubek Bailey Bailey. So that's between them. Between them. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can All see right. it. <laughs> now let's do it like this. All right. Now, last but not least is. This is my best. This is your favorite. Yeah. Um, and the best thing about this taste testing for John is he gets to go home. <laughs> this is his prize. He gets to go home with all the rockets. <laughs> Because I'm heading back to the U.S. tomorrow. Should so. you mention that? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. All right. Efe Gold. Now, yeah, there's the smoothest one. It's the and there's Efe, but not necessarily Efe Gold, right? It's different, huh? Mm -hmm. You want to add water to it? Or First, you I add. Oh, ice. oh, yeah. a little change up. <laughs> little change up. Okay. All right. It's your favorite, huh? Yeah, it is. <laughs> How is it different than these three, you think? Yeah, this is still at the first. <laughs> okay. Is it pretty smooth? Yeah. Real smooth? It's real smooth. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And tasty. And very tasty. Yeah. At that. Okay. I'll probably... After that, that I could call Baylor Bay. Baylor Bay. Mm -hmm. Wow, this that's the second. That's, okay, that's my favorite. But, and then uh, maybe the Sakiraki? Sak Sakiraka? Yeah. Okay. That's the third. Okay. Yenereke is the fourth. Yeah. They all look pretty similar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thanks, John, for helping me out and yeah, well, uh, like get, giving do everybody. Thank you. I do thank you for uh, sharing with me this. Yeah. Yeah. Share a fair. Share a fair. Share a fair. Salud.